Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool refrigerator roller assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get two roller assemblies. The main reason you'll be changing out the roller assembly is if the roller itself has become damaged and you can't roll the refrigerator. We have to open up both doors and remove the grill. It's held in by two clips on each end. All you have to do is lift up and out and it'll come right off. Before we take the front roller off, we're going to stick a couple pieces of wood underneath the corner just to support it so it doesn't tilt over when we take the wheel off. We're going to go ahead and use a socket with a ratchet. It's a 3 8 bolt. I'm just going to go ahead and loosen it up and take the roller off. Once we have the bolt out, we can lift the roller out. Here's the old roller assembly next to the new roller assemblies. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Whirlpool does not put threads in these holes, so in order to make it easier to mount it once we get it inside the refrigerator, we're going to go ahead and put the bolt in it first and get it started and then cut the threads holding on to it versus trying to do it when we're putting it into the fridge. Now we have the threads in there, so it'll be easier to put onto the fridge. To put the new roller in, all we have to do is feed it into place. This bar right here goes right into this groove, and then we can put the bolt in. Once you have the bolt in and the wheel mounted, you can use this adjustment screw to adjust the wheel in the back so that the fridge sits level. The kit that you order from Whirlpool comes with two rollers, so go ahead and change both of them. The one on the fresh food side is done exactly the same way. To reinstall the grill, we have to put the tab into the clip and just push it into place. There's one on each end. Now that we have everything reinstalled, we can close the refrigerator door and the freezer door. Now that you're done repairing your refrigerator, you can plug it back in, make sure that it starts to cool off, and that the temperatures return to normal. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.